back to my channel. I have a little haul for you here. Um, they went to Escort, um, Pick and Pay, that's it. Those are the two stores. And I'm gonna show you all the things that they got. First, if you don't know this place, I've hold, I've like filmed when we were there before. It's um, by Bathroom Bazaar in Xavier in the south. Here's the actual address if you're interested and you want to look it up. Um, they also went to the Sea Harvest shop, the factory shop which is right next door, the escort place. And so you'll see some fish in here and obviously some meat. So those are the two places if you want to look them up. It's at Xavier Boulevard. So, first thing she got was this Hake Phillips packet. This was 62 Rand 43 cents. And there's 12 pieces in here. And then, let me turn this. And then they got these ribs. Yep. Smoked belly ribs. This was 75 Rand. At 75 Rand 50 for this entire rack of ribs. Do you see how big this is? Here's my hand. That's my hand. This is huge. This, in the little box from Pick and Pay, they cut this in half and then they put it in that box and they put a 300 Rand stick on it. So, yeah, these are smoked, uncooked, and then just got some uncooked Budavors. This was 66 bucks, and then the other one was 36 bucks. So that's the food, the meat. The meat here is really affordable. They also got, um, so these two things are from the Harvest Shop. Uh, this is 11 Rand, this is just a fish spice. They also got this packet of ribs. This is like just in a marinade and they're cut up already. I don't know what it's called because there's no sticker on it, but here's the receipt if you just want to maybe check. I think, yeah, marinates it bulk. This was 144 Rand, basically, this packet of ribs. See, there's one. And then she also got these dry. They look dry. I don't know what they're called. Also, oh, here's a sticker. She also got a packet of shoulder ribs. This was 143 Rand 76 cents. And that's how big this packet is. And then lastly, and they also got these um, pork trotters. These were 48 Rand 27 cents. There you go. And this is how big this packet is. I'm obviously not gonna eat these. I'm basically not allowed to eat any of this stuff because it's all pork and I get tonsils from pork, but I'll pray before I eat them. Anyway, I also got, we went to we can pay, oh no, one more. They also got some chicken viannas from the same shop over there. And then we went to pick and pay, we got two loaves of bread, a white, no, a best of both and a brown. We got the vegetable combo, got gym squash, potatoes, tomatoes, and carrots. And then we got two Pepsis and a Coke. There you go. My mom got herself this raisin bread. She really likes that. And then we got, um, let me see, three trays of chicken. This is a six piece drumsticks um, packet. And then we got two four piece fly packets. And then we got one packet of this beef poiki. And there's a price for that. So that is the end of this haul. I'll see you guys later. Good morning. Oh, sorry. Morning. Um, morning vlog. I'm making breakfast. Um, someone asked for a <clears throat> recipe for the coffee that I was drinking in this boomerang. So I'm gonna show you. It's the same coffee from the previous vlog. I'm gonna show you how I make it. And I guess I'll show you what I'm having for breakfast.
uh, milk, the coffee, and a little teaspoon. Or if you're making it in like a travel cup, then just use the straw to stir. Now, this has been in the freezer, but it's pretty scoopable, like it just took it out. You can scoop it straight from the freezer, or you can wait like five minutes. It doesn't take too long. Also, you can warm up your milk if you want like a hot coffee, which I think I want today. So, I'm gonna take my milk, pour it in about halfway to the top. Yeah. So, this much milk. take my tablespoon you can literally scoop it straight from the there look how scoopable that is I guess I'm gonna take this out and slide this in you can make this hot or cold which is super nice You don't need to put sugar because the the coffee has sugar. There we go. Just dumped it there. How pretty does that look? Really pretty. Look at that. So stunning. So just take your spoon or your straw or whatever you're drinking with and you're just going to stir it in. Okay, so this is what it looks like in the end. So here's the coffee, it's so good, it's so creamy. The more you mix it in, the more coffee flavor you get. Look at it, it's so good, so foamy. And this is the foam that's left after you mix in the coffee. So it's not the like coffee whip, it's just the froth. Oh. I forgot to film the b-roll for the coffee, someone did off the b-roll. So never mind. I'll make it again and film the b-roll. Hi everyone! Um yeah. So I'm watching Selling Sunset. Oh my gosh, I'm literally binging. I watched it from season one to season three without stopping. Like I'm almost done with season three. I had to go to bed. But we woke up early this morning and we decided to go do some grocery shopping. So I'm going to give you a little haul of everything that we got. We went to Pick and Pay, Discam and Spa. I'm going to show you everything. I have it all laid out here. This is everything so we'll start here as usual. My mom got some tape. This is just packing tape. We got some spices, some mixed herbs, which we love. Oh, I love. Chicken spice, barbecue, and peppercorns. And then we have some curry spice back here. This is my mom's medication, which is supposed to be here. But yeah, so everything is sectioned off according to shop. So we also have some stock cubes. We have some cocoa powder back here because my sister makes these really, really nice mug cakes, but the last time she made it, I think it was two days ago, it was the best mug cake I've ever had. It had, it's a normal recipe, but um, we used Nutella as frosting. It was so good. We put some Nutella on the inside of the cake and then on top. So it was so delicious. So we had to get more cocoa powder. 
And then we have some lactose free milk. We have some canola oil, a tiny Coke. We have this orange flavored drink from Pick and Pay, Oros. And then we have two Pick and Pay ginger beers and two Pepsis. And then over here we have one bag of sugar, salt. And then back there we have two packets of pasta because we ran out. And we usually get the ones from Woolworths, the ones that come in five. But we didn't go to Woolworths today, so we just decided to get those for now. We got some bananas, three packets of Doritos. We did see the new Doritos, the Flaming Hot Nacho Cheese, but I was very scared. So, so back here we have some soups. <laughs> back here we have some soups. Uh, we've got brown onion, cream of mushroom, two cream of chickens, a uh, chicken noodle, and minestrone and one cream of tomato. And two packets of aromatic, yeah, the little packets. We have two of those because we just refilled the container. A little thing of garlic, a baby Vaseline, two of these four pack chicken thighs, um, three of these mixed portion pieces. This is actually a 10 piece and Originally we thought there was white meat in here, but it turns out it's just thighs, drumsticks, and wings, which is really, really nice. I got myself a little piece. Um, we got one thing of mints, two of these neck containers, a small thing of chuck steak, a thing of chicken gizzards, and then this packet of bulk stewing beef. And then, that's we can pay all done. We went to Discam. Discam, we got the sanitizer uh, to refill our bottles. And then, we got three of these. Nivea. What is this? Roll on? Yeah. So we got the black and white invisible fresh mint. The black and white invisible silky smooth. And the black and white invisible fresh. And then we got a little tiny uh, bottle of essential oils in the scent eucalyptus. We got a Dove Roll-On. We got this air moisturizer. We thought it was a normal sanitizer, but it was only 28 bucks. And it's like the one that's used in the car to like clean the air cons. Um, let me show you actually, in case you don't know what I'm talking about. But yeah, you just pull this down and then it like shoots out sanitizer and it kind of cleans the air. So, we got one of those. We got a Palmer, um, a Palmer's coconut oil leave-in conditioner. My mom loved this stuff. I used to have it and then she asked me for some and then she took it and then she loved it. So we got more. We also got Palmer's Coconut Oil Moisturizer Grow Hairdress, that's what it says. So, I don't know what this is, I think it's like food, hair food. And then we got six soap bars. These smell really good. My mom got her medicine, like I said. We have a packet of makeup wipes, because I ran out. Um, four of these Nivea body lotions. I picked up the flavors this time. So we got Irresistibly Smooth Shea Butter, Shea Butter, Shea Butter, whatever. Um, we got the Rich Nourishing, which is the one that I don't like. And then we got the Aloe and Hydration. This is the one that I love. And then another Rich Nourishing. Back here, we have four things of Domestos and then two containers of dishwashing liquid. And then we have Three, three packets of like machine soap, washing machine soap. We got a 10 piece face mask packet. And then we have three tissue boxes back there. And I think that's everything. Did I show you the Listerine? We got a Listerine. And then at spa, I initially went for this, but we also saw it at Pick and Pay. So I could have just gone there instead. But 
Um, these two loaves of bread are also from Chicken Bay, by the way. They're just in the wrong place. But um, this is liquid creamer. I've read about it. I think I read about it last year sometime. And they said that they were gonna bring it to South Africa and there was this flavor and hazelnut. So I decided to pick it up. We got three. This is tiny. Let me let me give you some reference here because I saw it in someone else's video and the container looked huge. Do you see this? It's fitting in my hand. Let me put it next to this milk box so you can have some reference. That's how tiny it is. And it's like 17 rand for one box. So we got three of those. We didn't even check expiration dates, but they're all 2021. Thank the Lord. And then we got a little chicken mayo salad. We were craving chicken mayo. So yeah, that is everything that we got. Now I have to pack all the stuff away, but yeah. See you guys. Bye everyone. So I was meant to vlog earlier. It's like half past five now. But we went to go view a house. We went to go view a house. So I didn't get to. But now I'm making something to eat quickly so I can go back and edit my video for tomorrow. So I thought I'd show you what I'm making. still morning. We've got about 30 minutes, well just under 30 minutes of morning left. And we're almost done. There's only one packet of beanie left. But my mom did get me. My mom did get me this little packet of cappuccino. It's from this Mo Kate, Mo Kate brand. It's a candy shop cappuccino in creamy vanilla. Sounds amazing. I'm super excited um, to try it. To have, I've actually used this brand before. I bought their iced coffee stuff, and someone like told me how to do it so that it doesn't have like clumps and stuff. So we'll try this whenever. But. I'm just gonna have breakfast, which is last night's food. And then last night my sister also made, um, she made us this cut cake in a mug. And I'm telling you, it is so good. She used to make it before just the cake in a mug and it was okay. But like, 
Now, because of the Nutella that my friend got me, she puts some Nutella inside. Like she'll drop it in after she makes the mixture and then it'll like sink to the middle. And then when the cake is done, we'll frost it with some Nutella. So it's just, it's so, it's such a game changer. And I'm not a huge Nutella fan, but this, life changing, really. So yeah, I also have the liquid creamer, and I think the liquid creamer works best with just a regular black coffee, not the whipped stuff that I use, but I guess I could put some in like the milk. All of that to say, I really don't know what I'm drinking. I think I'll do the whipped coffee, add a little bit of the creamer to my milk, and just have that because I really like the whipped coffee taste, so let's do that. Also, this is my favorite mug in my entire life. It's a Starbucks mug favorite. This cake was so yummy. Oh my gosh. Here we go. It's actually really nice looking. Okay. So this gave me quite a few cups of coffee. Mm, it smells so good. So we're going to do milk. To the second line, where you can't see the lines, but yeah, that much. To the second line, we're gonna do some creamer. That much. <laughs> I'd say like two tablespoons. Hold on, hold on, might be a joke. Let me put everything back and I'll come back. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm not even kidding. It's so good. It's so creamy. It's Insane. So good, that vanilla from that creamer. Oh my gosh. I'm not even like trying to be extra. Can you just imagine? Oh my gosh. This is everything. Yeah, 10 out of 10. The only thing is I don't know how much coffee I put in here, so it's always gonna be just like a guessing game with the coffee. This is the stuff I pay for. This is the stuff I buy. Wow, that is amazing. Incredible, just life-changing, game-changer, all the words. Anyway, I'm gonna go and eat my breakfast and enjoy this cup of joe.